Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now picture this, you just built yourself a shiny brand new gaming computer and you just can't wait to hop onto Fall Guys with your friends and secure that first place crown. However, when you load up that brand new PC, you find that your graphics card has not been detected. However, luckily for you, you have me and I have the answers that you need. So let's get right into how to fix this pesky issue and get you back onto the road to gaming greatness. Let's start with our first solution and that's checking the GPU installation. The first port of call when your graphics card is not detected is to ensure that it has been properly installed. Take off your side panel and unscrew the GPU at the rear of the case. Unplug your power cable and press the lever to release the GPU. Completely take out the GPU and inspect the motherboard's PCIe slot to see if there is any visible damage. If not, Reinstall the GPU, reboot the PC, and wait to see if you get a display. If there is still no display and your motherboard has another slot, repeat the process and reinstall the GPU in the alternate slot. There you go, all fixed. Oh, it, it's still not working. Okay, all right, don't worry. We have some more solutions for you. We'll move on to solution two, which is making sure you have the correct drivers for your GPU. If you already have the most up-to-date drivers installed, it is worth uninstalling them and going for a completely clean install. To do this, go to your control panel and hit the hardware and sound section. Once in there, head over to the device manager, find a display adapters drop-down menu, find your GPU, right-click it, then press uninstall. After this, simply head to your GPU manufacturer's website and download the most up-to-date drivers. Now, that last step is a pretty common fix and may have solved all of your issues. However, we still have three more fixes for you, so let's get into them. Uh, solution three involves resolving compatibility issues. The chances are slim, but if you have a particularly older motherboard and have bought a recent GPU, you could run into compatibility problems. Another issue that can arise is simply from having an underpowered PSU. It is no surprise that the graphics card slurps up the most watts in most gamers' systems, so having adequate power is a necessity. Now, you don't need that much wattage to power a PC, but of course, this depends on what you are running inside. For a brief overview of what you may need power-wise, you can check out our PSU calculator on our website, which we will link down there in the description below, so that you can find out the minimum wattage of PCU your system requires. If everything checks out and you have more than enough power for your card, double check the power cables and make sure that they are all plugged in properly on your PSU, motherboard and GPU. Solution four comes in the form of a video that we have already made and that's to update your BIOS. Instead of trying to tackle this quickly in this video, which will lead to confusion and you'll likely throw your computer at us, we'll just, we'll put a link to our video on how to update your BIOS in the description. It's only four minutes long and it'll explain the process Fully. And our final solution is to restore your BIOS to default. For those that already had an up-to-date BIOS or if Solution 4 simply didn't help, restoring the BIOS to its default has worked for some users in the past and we're going to show you now how to do it. If your system is on, then go ahead and restart it. If not, switch it on and press delete or F2, depending on your motherboard when prompted to get into the BIOS. Navigate to the BIOS menu and look for restore to default or some variation of this and simply press enter while following any additional instructions that you see. If the five solutions mentioned still haven't fixed your GPU not detected problem, there's a strong chance your GPU or at a stretch GPU slot on your motherboard is defective. Before crying into your keyboard, you can try and uninstall the latest Windows updates. To roll Windows back to an earlier time period and double check to see if this fixes the issue, then follow these simple steps. Type recovery into your Windows search bar and open it. Once in there, click open system restore, Click next, select any of the restore points available and click next once more. Confirm the action and your PC will now restart. Log back in and continue the restore process instructions. If you have tried everything you can in this video and still have no joy, try borrowing an old GPU off a friend and seeing if that works. If you still get no detection, try your GPU in your friend's motherboard and find out whether there is a defective component at play. We do hope that one of these solutions fixed your issue and that you are back on track to do some great gaming. As always, if this helped you at all, we would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell while you're down there so you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.